morning everyone. I don't know if I share enough with you um, about some of the things that happened at the hostels and everything. So last night it was a late night. Hike or midnight was actually hike or midnight. But we had some other people come in since I took some. So we have um, a bunch of people out here tenting. Like I said, right there is Gypsy and I and some people stayed in the pavilion last night. So that's what it looks like outside. They have beds and stuff in the inside. It's 8.30 in the morning, it's foggy. So I'm glad that we did decide to stay in instead of staying out in the mountain. But um, I'm gonna get packed up. Gonna hit the mountain today, get some more miles in, pushing myself to the halfway mark. But just wanted to share this with all of you real quick, because this is a cute little hostel. Great people that stayed here, fun people that stayed here, so. That's what it's like staying at a hostel. Okay guys, we made it to Weaver Ton Cliffs, I guess it's called. I'll double check that, there's a plaque over here, I'll take a picture. With the heat index, we're over 100 degrees, it's noon time. I really have to figure something out, I cannot hike the next couple of weeks with these heat indexes in the afternoon time so either I'm gonna have to get up earlier try to do some night hiking but let me get off behind me here is those cliffs let me get some pictures for you while I get hydrated down in there is Harper's Ferry. That's what I was told as you can see Harper's Ferry from up here. Okay, so I'm coming into Garthland State Park. I've walked back and forth a couple times because it says I'm supposed to see 19th century ruins. And um, I don't know, I thought maybe I passed it when I hit the dot, but I don't remember seeing anything that I passed. And I don't know, maybe I'm just blind. I don't see any 19th century ruins. So, I'm gonna continue down to the rest of the state park. 0.2.3 miles, so it's supposed to be cold water and restrooms. And it's so hot. I need some cold water. Lots of cold water. I need to throw cold water on my head. But, I don't know, I don't know where the red dots actually on my gut hooks right here but I've been wandering around like a lost puppy in this heat and I don't see anything nothing at all so I'm either blind or I missed it okay, so now I'm coming down into the park I'm trying to see I don't know which way to go because I'm looking for the empty tomb that's supposed to be here. That is a trail I just came off of. I'm going north, of course. Here we go, burial plot, amazingly built. So, let me go find this empty plot and I'll get y'all a picture. So, Maybe these are the ruins. I don't know. It's got a nice little stone fence. Goes all the way around the mausoleum. Right there. The trail that goes up. Goes around. Down there, I spy restrooms, picnic tables, cold water. That's where I'm headed. So, this area, we're in Maryland right now. Is so full, just like Virginia and West Virginia, of um, Civil War uh, history, I guess. I mean, you can see off in the distance, there's a ruin up there. In the distance, there's another ruin over there somewhere. I mean, this is a state park dedicated to them, so it's a state park. And I know that there's a, a lot of glare over on here. But um, this is where... Some of these things have happened. You guys can slow this down. 
stop it or whatever to read it. And I'm trying to get some of this so that you guys can read some of this stuff. But for Civil War history, I have found so much in these states. And like I said, there's some houses up there. The tomb was up there. Just beautiful, beautiful area and so much history. Now we gotta cut across the field, but I'm gonna eat lunch first because there's a white blaze and there's a white blaze. And I am way down here eating. So after I eat, off we go again, no bow. A lot of road crossings and here's another one it goes over highway 70 I believe so we're coming down onto that I can hear the freeway right now now I have driven on this road under this I guess it's a footbridge what kind of footbridge it is I have driven on this road to go to training a couple years ago and didn't even realize that I was driving under the AT. Well, let me get down here to it and we'll figure so, out what's going yep. on. Whoops, I'm almost going to fall. It's a footbridge. Oh, okay. I'm up high, but I can do this. It's awful loud. I'm on top of the freeway. It's awful high. And loud. And I'm hoping no trucks have any accidents. I don't think this touches anything and it's high enough where top of the truck shouldn't get to me. I got people honking and waving at me. That's kind of cool. So I'm going to get off here and finish up this walk. Like I said, I have people honking and waving. That was kind of cool. New experiences on the Appalachian Trail. Now it looks like I get to walk down the freeway for a little bit alongside, up safely, with the fence between me and the car. So if I fall, I won't be rolling into traffic at least. But. Let me wait for Gypsy to catch up and we'll get to walking down this hot, icky path. 